Okay, let's check out the super dope Instant House. So this is under the Max for Life Essentials pack. You can download it for free if you have Ableton Suite. And under the Max MIDI effect, you can find Instant House. So I'm going to drop it into a new MIDI track. Now, it doesn't do anything by itself. Um, it just creates MIDI patterns that are uh, just gives you like house drum patterns. So we do need a drum rack after it. So let me just search like a house drum rack. Let's try this. Okay. Now, uh, we have four different sequencers here. Uh, each one is titled with a uh, drum type, like kick, snare, hi-hat, and percussion. And each one of them is sending a different MIDI note. So you can see here the hi-hats. We actually have two sequencers, one for the closed hat and one for the open hat and the perk. So you can actually send what it's actually, what note is actually triggering. I'm going to mute the snare, hi-hat, and perk and just lift with the kick. And right now we can see it's sending to C1, which is our, right here, our drum rack is on C1. So if I just hit space bar, just hit play, we don't need to do anything, it's already playing. Now if I send the note to C2, C sharp one, we can see in the drum rack, it's triggering this empty pad. We don't have any uh, sample on and I can continue, maybe trigger the snare and so on. So you can actually trigger anything on the drum rack or even an instrument if you want to experiment. Here we can change the patterns. We have a bunch of patterns for, drum, for kicks. Very cool. We can add a swing. Some of the patterns have low velocity uh, notes. We can hear that. And we can change what's the actual low velocity. So if I bring it up, it's kind of close to each other. We can bring it down. Nice, and also the high velocity. We can even shift it off time, and that will make more sense as we bring more uh, uh, sequencers in. So let's bring in the snare. Nice, again, we can change the pattern. We can change what's the velocity low, what's the low ghost notes, and high. And we can also shift it. So now it's slightly off, kind of shuffled. Let's bring in the hats. And if you go up above, I think, 10, or above, yeah, to 12, 13. Here's also the open hats. Nice perk. Let's bring in a pattern. Now, the perk is triggering A sharp minus 1. That's kind of weird. My perk is on E1. So let's change this to E1. Nice. Excellent. Right here we can randomize the patterns of everything. Immediately giving us a cool different house track. We can, uh, we can randomize the note. And this can be useful if you have a rack full of sounds and you just want kind of a completely different pattern. Playing different sounds, you can randomize the note. So all the notes will be outputting to different pads. We can randomize the swing, velocity, and the shift. We can also initialize everything. Bring in some open hats. Nice. Now, right here, we can uh, send MIDI to um, whatever you want kind of to control. We can change the pattern with the MIDI, as you can see. I'm just hitting different MIDI notes. Uh, we can change the, the kick. A note, a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Let's go back to C1. Or we can just have MIDI through, so it's bypassing the rack, going directly, bypassing the MIDI effect, going directly to the drum rack. Nice. Here we can assign to the rack, so it's basically to this drum rack, or general MIDI. Uh, so it's just uh, kind of uh, applying all the notes to the general MIDI configuration you can look up. Uh, all on or all off, all the sequencers. Here we have presets that we can save. You can uh, click shift and store it, right? New presets or recall, just click on it to get back to previous presets. And you can even fold this. And right here, we can change all the patterns to breaks. So these are just different patterns, not just house patterns, just breaks patterns. Give us a different, probably would work in a different BPM, but let's check it out. So it gives us a bunch of patterns for breaks, which is super dope. 
Now, if you want to actually get the patterns, get the MIDI, because right now we don't have any clip, it's just playing by itself. So what you can do, you can open up a new MIDI track, Command Shift T or Control Shift T. Get the MIDI from this track called House Drum, because that's the rack we have there, House Drum Rack. Record Enable. And record. It will skip the first beat, but you can just let it play a few loops and you're good. So now we have it recorded in MIDI, everything we need. We can go back. We can start randomizing patterns. And of course, everything is getting recorded. And after we're done, we can just move this clip back to our track and delete the, or turn off the Instant House. And we have the same thing. So Instant House is super fun to even just play with friends that don't know music, but just to come up quickly with drum patterns, especially for house and breaks. But I have to mention our free modification of the Instant House called Instant Afro. And you can download this for free from our blog. I'll post a link in the video description. And this is the same thing, just giving us more patterns for more like a, a dancehall and ragatone and Afro beat and all of those. So a bunch of syncopated stuff. As you can see, it works the same way. We just changed the design a tiny bit to fit with the modern Ableton. But Instant House, there's other mods of the Instant House out there, including our Instant Afro, like we, I saw one on the maxforlife.com called uh, Instant uh, Chicago uh, Mod House. Uh, so a bunch of cool stuff. Really great way to come very quickly with uh, rhythmical ideas and maybe even try it on uh, instruments. You might uh, come up like bass lines. You might come up with some really interesting stuff. Maybe follow it with a scale MIDI effect. So that's the Instant House from the Max for Live Essential. Really fun stuff. Check it out and have fun.